John, we're live. Recording to PC has begun. Recording to the cloud has begun as well, and the live stream is good. Backup is rolling. Thank you. Good afternoon, and welcome to today's New York City uh, Council remote hearing vote on land use. At this time, will all council members please turn on their video for verification purposes? And to minimize disruptions, we ask everyone to please silence their cell phones or electronic devices. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Salamanca, we are ready to begin. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who have joined with, who are with us today. We have Council Members Barron, Adams, Ayala, Borelli, Diaz Sr., Feliz, Credenci, Kuhl, Miller, Chair Moya, Chair Riley, Rivera, and Trader. I would also like to thank Chair Moya and Chair Riley for their work on our two subcommittees. Today, we will vote on a number of applications referred out from our two subcommittees, as well as a bill. Before we begin, I would like to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. We ask that you please be patient if any technical difficulties arise today. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda items. Thank you, council. Uh, from our landmarks, the subcommittee will vote to approve LUs 897 and 898 for the wind powers, wind powers project, approving the designation of an urban development action area an urban development action area project for such area, the disposition of city owned property to a developer selected by the HPD and a special permit pursuant to section 74-903 of the New York City zoning resolution to allow an increase in permitted floor area ratio for use group three, nonprofit use with sleeping accommodations from 2.43 to 4.8. These actions will facilitate the redevelopment of a city owned property located at 346 Powers Avenue in the Bronx in two new, with two new facilities buildings, including a permanent supportive housing facility containing 221 units for families with children, an offsite daycare center, and a new homeless shelter building with 95 units. This project is located within the council district represented by council member Ayala. We will also approve LU's number 881 related to the Las Raices project submitted by HPD pursuant to section 197C of the New York City Charter. This application requests approval of the disposition of city owned property located at 303 East 102nd Street, 338 East 117th Street, 505-507 East 118th Street and 1761-1763 Park Avenue to a developer selected by HPD. The disposition approved will facilitate the development and construction of four new rental development containing approximately 81 affordable dwelling units and community facility space in the council district represented by council member Perkins and Ayala. From our zoning subcommittee, we will vote to approve the modifications, pre-considers LU's number 911 for the citywide hotel special permit text amendment. The proposal seeks a zoning text amendment to establish a citywide special permit related to transient hotel use. Our modifications will be to add flexibility to certain vesting provisions as they relate to sites in theater sub-districts of the special midtown district. We will also vote to approve pre-considered use 916 and 917 for the 506 3rd Avenue, at 3rd Avenue rezoning related to property in Council Member Landis District in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to rezone an existing M2-1 district to a C4-4A district and a related zoning text amendment to establish an MIH program area utilizing options one and two. Our modification would be to strike MIH option two and add deep affordability option while retaining option one. We will also vote to approve the modifications pre-considers LUs numbers 920 and 921 for the start Lehigh and Terminal Warehouse Building Zoning related to property in Speaker Johnson's District in Manhattan. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to rezone an existing M2-3 district to an M2-4 district and a related zoning text amendment. 
to extend the special West Chelsea Chelsea district over the rezoning area related to a new sub area within a special district and modify various use signage and loading regulations. A modification would be to reduce the floor area limitations for large retail use from 15% to 10%. And as part of the approval, the applicant has committed to monitoring pedestrian safety conditions on West 26th Street and working with DOT to implement any necessary safety improvements in the future. Today, we'll also vote on a bill Proposed introduction numbers 1487-A, a local law to amend the New York City Charter in relation to studying population and housing changes in areas that have been subject of neighborhood rezonings. Introduced by Chair Moya, we held a hearing on this bill at our meeting on May 7, 2019. The bill as amended would require the, de the Department of City Planning to conduct a study in connection with each covered land use project approved by City Council on or after January 1st, 2009, to identify changes in population and housing that have occurred from effective date of such covered project to a date 10 years later. 14 years after the effective date of a covered project, by the end of the year, DCP would be required to transmit to the mayor and the council and to post on its website a report documenting the results of such study and providing statistically based context to describe any changes that have occurred. Covered projects would be projects for which the city or a not-for-profit corporation of which a majority of its members are appointed by the mayor is the applicant or co-applicant and include one or more related applications for a change to the zoning map, a special permit within the jurisdiction of the city planning commission, housing and urban renewal plan pursuant to state and federal laws or the disposition of city owned property that changes the maximum residential floor area or density that can be built as of right on four adjacent blocks of real property. The law will go into effect immediately. Council members who have questions or remarks about today's items should use the raise hand button now. Council, will you announce members in the order that their hands have been raised? Chair sure, Council Member Moya has his hand raised. Um, Council Member Moya, recognize Council Member, Chair Moya, I'm sorry. Thank you so much, uh, Chair Salank, and to my colleague. Thank you so much uh, to speak. I'm here to speak on uh, the intro, intro 1487A. Uh, as we know, New York City is a consistently changing landscape of new construction and new concepts in urban planning. The history of this change is marked by large land use actions that have implemented well intentioned land use policies without consequences. And the downtown Brooklyn rezoning intended to create a business district full of new office space. Instead, it resulted in a massive amount of residential development with an array of unmitigated environmental impacts, including impacts on transportation and school overcrowding. Uh, the same thing happened in Long Island City. In other projects, affordable housing has been a goal, but it has been achieved through zoning initiatives for market rate housing developers that raise questions about whether the, developer, the developments are making neighborhoods more affordable or forcing longtime residents to move elsewhere. Uh, it is my hope that uh, with these reports, uh, we will provide the Land Use Committee and the Committee of Housing and Buildings valuable information that can be the basis of meaningful oversight of planning policies to inform future uh, decision making. And so I wanna thank uh, Speaker Justin, uh, of course, all the land use staff, uh, but thank you to my colleagues from the BLAC uh, who were there this bill. Uh, thank you again, and I urge everyone to please vote for uh, intro 1487, which will study the population and housing changes in areas that have been subject uh, of neighborhood rezoning. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair Moya. Um, Council, is there, are there any other members with their hands raised for comments no, or questions? No, Chair Salamanca. All right, seeing none, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and local council members and note that a vote of aye on all will be to adopt the following. Approve LUs 881, 897, 898, and propose intro numbers 1487A, and to approve a modification as I've described LUs 911, 916, 917, 920 or 921. Will the clerk please call the roll? Good afternoon, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye, no. Gibson. I vote aye on all and want to wish my colleagues and staff and all the families a happy season of Thanksgiving. I vote aye on all. Thank you. 
Thank you. Councilmember Barron. Uh, permission to explain my vote. Councilmember Barron to explain her vote. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I vote aye on all with the exception of 897898. I think that the city has got to move from building shelters to committing to building housing in which the people who lived formerly in shelters will be guaranteed a place to live in permanent um, housing. And I ask to be added to 1487A. I think it's very important that we understand the impact of the decisions that we've made long-term and ask to be added to that uh, 1487A. Thank you. I vote aye Thank on you. all those. Thank you. You Thank got you. it. Thank you. Uh, Council Member Koo. Council Member Koo. Oh, we'll come back to uh, Council Member Koo. Miller. Oh, uh, hi. I, I will. I. <laughs> Council Member Koo, thank you. Yeah, you got it? Yes, sir. Thank you. you got it. Thank you. Council Member Miller. Honored to follow the great Peter Koo. Council Member vote, uh, Miller votes aye on all. Thank you, sir. Uh, one second. Traeger. Aye. Thank you. Grodenchik. I vote aye. Thank you. Adams. Vote aye on all. Thank you. Ayala. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Ruben Diaz. Siento. Thank you, sir. Moya. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Rivera. I vote aye. Thank you. Aye. Got it, thank you. Riley. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Feliz. I vote aye on all. Thank you. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone and their family. Thank you to you as well. Councilmember Borelli. I vote aye. Thank you. One moment. Chair, sure, we're expecting two more members possibly to vote if we can hold it for a few minutes. Okay. Uh, land use vote. All items have been adopted by the committee with 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. With land use items 897 and 898 being adopted by the committee with 14 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. And Council awesome. Member Levin running on right now. I Council Member Levin, thank you. I don't know, thank you. Uh, committee Council, um, are we expecting another member? Uh, possibly one. Yes, we're checking on him now. All right. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council and language staff, and Sergeant of Arms for attending today's hearing. We're going to um, keep the roll open for approximately five minutes. Thank you.
All right. Um, did the member arrive? I, I have to go. No, he hasn't. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to thank Lanyon staff, Sergeant of Arms, for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you. Chair, Chair real quick, let me just do a final vote. Yes. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. All items have been adopted by a vote now of 16 in the affirmative, zero of a negative, and no abstentions, with land use items 897 and 898 being adopted by the committee 15 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions.